everybody and welcome back to Relax My Dog. Now I hope you've all had the most amazing start to April. Today's video is actually really, really exciting as we're going to be talking about a really, really interesting topic which is emotional support dogs. Now if you guys haven't heard of emotional support dogs before, they are absolutely incredible. Now before we do get started, definitely do go down below to the comments and let me know any questions you guys might have with regards to either me and Milo or if you have any questions that need, you need help with your dog or anything like that leave us a question down below or a topic you want us to discuss and we'll have a look at the comments. So an emotional support animal or an ESA, an assistant animal or a support animal is a companion animal that provides benefit to somebody with a mental health condition or an emotional disorder. Now what I didn't know is actually that emotional support animals can be in the form of dogs, they can also be in the form of cats and any other animal, it is crazy. Now obviously dogs are the typical one because they are easy to train uh, but I think it's crazy that you could have like a different sort of animal that helps you with that sort of thing. Now an emotional support animal helps a person if they have anxiety, if they have panic attacks or if they just need some sort of emotional support. They help in a number of different ways. A lot of the time it's sort of a dog that you can talk to or it's a dog that can sort of sense if you're about to have an anxiety attack or a panic attack and they will help to calm you down which I think is really really good. Now what a lot of people get confused about is whether they are similar to a service dog um, such as like a guide dog but it, they are completely different because a guide dog has been trained at specific services. Now if you've ever wondered how you can get yourself an emotional support animal, you actually need to get a letter from a mental health professional like a psychiatrist etc and they will then say that you can have an emotional support animal. Now what I think is very really, really cool is that emotional support animals are allowed on travel and they're also allowed in housing as well. And in terms of the best of breeds for emotional support animals are as follows. A Golden Retriever, a Labrador, a Brussels Griffin, a King Charles Spaniel and a Collie are amongst the ones that are the best type to have an emotional support animal. Now like I say emotional support animals are there to sort of sense when you're going to have a panic attack or if you are just anxious in general. I'm sure that if anybody here suffers with anxiety whether it is on a minor level or if you are have sort of extreme anxiety you do know that once you are with somebody it does sort of help a little bit or at least a lot of people do find that and so obviously to have a dog with you, it can actually make you a little bit better. A lot of dogs, I know that Milo does, whenever we're upset, he will come over and he will just give us loads and loads of love. Now a lot of you guys might not actually know this about me, but I'm actually a qualified primary school teacher and during one of my school placements, there was actually a emotional support dog for the children. They absolutely loved this dog. It was a spaniel and they used to take it around for walks. If somebody was having a bit of like an upset day, they could easily go and ask if they could take the dog for a walk and they take it around the playground or around the field and it would really, really calm them down. You'd see the kids go out in a bit of a mess and then they come back and they'd be so so chilled out so it really does show that an emotional support animal does work and it is an amazing thing that dogs are able to do but that is it for this week's video i really really do hope you enjoyed it don't forget to let me know again down below what questions you might have for me and milo or any other topic you want us to discuss also don't forget to follow us over on our instagram page we are at well that's my dog and we also have facebook and also twitter so if you don't have instagram but you have facebook you can also follow us over there we post so so many lovely doggy memes over there they are actually hilarious <laughs> if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below like i said and also don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button over here that will just make sure you are keeping up to date with all of our videos and you can also check out our previous video which is all the way on the other side of the screen if again you want to learn more and more about your precious dog thank you all so so much for watching bye